We're working hard to achieve four goals at the same time. The first is to make the very best biochar. The second is to use as much of the process energy as possible. The third is to eliminate as many emissions as possible. And the fourth is to make the whole process as profitable as possible for everyone. No matter what biomass we put in, we get out carbon. This is how we really mean to take a bite out of our carbon footprint. Good stuff. My name is John Nilsson. I'm a soil scientist. Me and Bob put this together. Smile, Bob. Uh, <laughs> I can't resist. Anyway, uh, we are a group of people that work in agriculture, a little bit of engineering, a little bit of microbiology. And I got first involved in this because I make bioinoculants and Char is the best carrier for the biology. So our, our workshop today is brought to us by Mother Earth because I talked them into it. And <laughs> Chargro, which is our, our company that makes the products and we are sitting on Living Web Farms. There's a few different farms in the area that are part of the Living Web Farm educational facility. And Lisa is gonna tell us a little bit about Living Web Farms, and then you can understand a little bit more how we got to be here. Hey, welcome everyone. Hands-on learning techniques come to life at all of our farms with the most innovative and organic, sustainable methods for growing food and working with the land and the animals in that entire cycle of that whole living web of life. You might have seen us at the fair. Welcome, we welcome you to, to participate in all our workshops. We have a huge schedule of them. They're all on the website and they're all by donation. We just love you to register so that we can have enough food at the end, we make meals. But you can find a vast amount of workshops online that we've had at our farm hands on and then we put it on the web. So we'd love to help spread the word. Please share the resource we've got our main educational farm where we grow most of the vegetables that we give to local food banks. And then this is the Grandview farm where we have the great integrated system here of the greenhouse with radiant tubing going underneath to use the process energy from the biochar facility. And if you want a more extensive workshop, we have a full seven hours that John and Bob did last year that's quite more detailed than what we'll have time for today. So I encourage you to explore the website, share the resource, and join us for more workshops at Living Web Farms. Thank you. So we're going to begin with the, uh, the model for cogeneration. The reason why I wrote all this in here is, is not only are we trying to make products and uh, you know, generate some revenues for the people working here and, and for the company, but we're a model that other farms can use. So it's a model that processes forest and crop residuals, creates energy, moves carbon to permanent storage in the soil, and increases food productivity. So we're gonna begin with the energy use and co-generating for local use. The idea when I first looked at this, it was like, okay, we got, we got to get some charcoal made for these inoculants. How are we gonna do that efficiently? Well, we could, we could make it in some cans, but you lose a lot of heat to the air, you, a little bit of smoke goes in the air, and that's just not good enough. So then we, when I met Bob, I was, I was really adamant we got to be able to use the heat. And his system had a little greenhouse next to it in Massachusetts, and he was using the heat to dry wood. I said, perfect, that's what we want to do. And then I've also learned from Bob we can capture other benefits down the line. We could get all these different benefits, and if, and if you get all the benefits, then it starts to make, make economic sense. And that's what we wanted to do here is not only get a successful company, but a successful model. We figure other people are gonna see it. They're gonna to wanna to join with us. And the great thing about this is when it's running, it, it runs itself. People are like, oh, you've gotta have a gas line or something to start this. No, we start it with a match. Once, once the material's running, it runs itself, producing a lot of energy. They'll be telling you a little bit more about those energy benefits. And then there are these multiple products that come out and for my way of thinking, the char is the most important because you're putting the carbon in the ground. It takes a long time, up to 2,000 years for it to break down. 
and you can actually reduce the cost to grow crops. So in the next year, as soon as we can get it put together, we want to actually get some commercial trials going for some of these tomato growers because I think we can really put Mills River and Hendersonville on the map because these guys could be able to grow tomatoes better and cheaper. And once we can do that and demonstrate that, things are going to change rapidly. So we're going to begin down here a little bit where these other posters are. That's what we're moving to next. And uh, the guys that run this will be taking you through the production steps and how they do what they do on a daily basis. So let's go down there. <laughs>